there are still good people in the world. Nowadays every person thinks for himself and worries about his surroundings. There has been a tremendous increase in unemployment, inflation, poverty, anxiety, unrest and anxiety. This situation has given rise to many social, economic, cultural and cultural problems. Most of them are living below the poverty line. Human needs include health, education, clothing, food and housing, but most of them are deprived of it. In such a situation, those who are proactive in alleviating the pain and suffering of young people and sharing the ease with them are commendable. They are doing a great service to the society by serving humanity and participating in welfare works. Working together is the starting point of building a good society. Societies in which compassion, service and human welfare prevail intellectually and practically at the individual, collective, state and national levels, that society as a whole easily climbs the ladder of progress and prosperity. In today's fascinating era, some youths are second to none in welfare work. They are a beacon of light for others, playing a vital role with dedication towards the spirit of service. Such kind-hearted youth are the pride of the society, they are selflessly doing the work of serving the people. The story of such a young man is presented before the reader, seeing which many hopes have arisen in our youth that our youth have a sense of humanity and service. A happy young man was walking on the pavement with a bag hanging on his back, when suddenly he collapsed. Suddenly water came like a spring from a roof drain and soaked him. Before the fountain of laughter could rise from my mouth, this young man did a strange thing. He looked around without thinking anything bad and put the pot under the flowing stream in front of the house in which the plant was drying up due to lack of water. As the young man walked forward, he saw a stern mother who was not climbing the pavement and went forward to help her. After setting up a stall on the footpath, they used to come on the same footpath for a while. A man eating in a small hotel had just finished his food when a dog came and sat down beside him. He put some food in front of her dog. My interest increased. After eating he got up and I followed him. At one place a beggar was begging with his daughter, she stopped there, so I also stopped near a glasses shop. He opened his wallet and gave some money to the beggar's daughter. The young man went a little further and bought bananas and left then turned into a building and hung onto the door handle and quickly slammed the door and ran away. I kept quiet to see what happens. After a while, the door opened and a 75-year-old woman, who had chattered her teeth, took out a banana and began thanking God, not knowing which angel she had called to aid her in the invisible. Was appointed. For several days the routine between me and the young man was that he would go back and forth with his routine and I would secretly follow him, and then one day a change came. The water was falling from the ceiling and in the same way into the pot, but it was full of dry powder and he was as happy as small children seeing the butterfly sitting on it. Proceeding as usual, I found the old woman in the stall waiting for the young man, and as soon as he appeared, she began to pray. Even after eating today, the dog did not leave the young man's side and followed him. When we approached the beggar blindfolded, I became worried along with the young man because the little girl was nowhere to be seen. The young man was watching that a lovely girl wearing school uniform came near the young man's feet and started crying hugging him and thanking him. My eyes became moist with this sight when I saw that someone pressed my hand hard. The glasses seller Baba was also standing with tears in his eyes and was pressing my hand. And what can be said about the happiness of this young man?
At last the young man went ahead, reached the old woman's door with a banana. He was about to hang the banana and knock on the door when with a flash the door opened and there stood that old mother Popal, with a deep look of joy in her sad eyes, then she hugged the young man and I had tears in my eyes. I kept thinking that there is only a gap between worry and real happiness. Being helpful to each other and sharing in their pain and suffering is humanity and worship. The person who makes things easy for others, Allah makes things easy for him. What do you think you can do to improve people's lives? What are the activities by which you can contribute a little, if not a lot, for their betterment and for the betterment of the society? How come you feel by giving free dog to poor needy kids, giving medicine to sick person, donating blood and giving ration? You will realize all these changes can happen when you do this.